Hey FTD fam, we're about to watch and learn about the 11 biggest miracles performed by Prophet Muhammad. 11. Mind-blowing miracles performed by Prophet Muhammad you have never heard of. Oh, well, let's Number see. 1. Invisibility When the Prophet planned to migrate to Medina, the tribes in Mecca conspired to assassinate him once and for all. Each tribe sent an assassin and they surrounded the house of the Prophet that night. But the Prophet walked out right in front of them and none of them saw him. They were blinded to him. Number 2. The Camel in the Sand Incident The Prophet and Abu Bakr were on their way to Medina when they were followed by an assassin named Suraka. When Abu Bakr got worried, the messenger told him, Don't be sad. Allah is certainly with us. Then he cast a glance at Suraka and his horse feet became stuck in the sand. Suraka managed to get the feet of the horse but when he tried to follow the Prophet his horse legs got stuck again and smoke was coming from the sand. Suraka realized this was beyond him and had to go back. Number 3. Talking with the Jinn in one narration, oh, a, a jinn called a Hama right. came in the form of an old man carrying a staff. He accepted Islam. The noble messenger instructed him in some of the short chapters of the Quran, which he listened to and then departed. Number 4. Water flowed from his blessed hands. Once the Prophet was with his companions, about 300 of them, in a place called Zara. It was time to observe the afternoon prayer but the people could not find any water to make wudu. The Prophet ordered them to look for little water. When they did, he dipped his hands into it and water was flowing from his hands like a fountain. All 300 people who were there made wudu and used it for other needs. Number 5. The Night Journey, Isra and Ascension, Miraj this is one of the most amazing miracles of the Prophet It is called Al-Isra wal-Mi'raj. It was the night that the Prophet under the guidance of Angel Jibreel traveled from the Kaaba in Mecca to Masjid al-Aqsa in Jerusalem and then to the sky, to the high realms and to the presence of Allah the Almighty. On this journey, he met the Prophets before him including Musa, Isa and Ibrahim. He led them in prayer. He reached a very high place where he could hear the pens writing people's deeds. He saw heaven and hell and he وسلم, was elevated and he met his Lord the Magnificent and the Merciful. This incident is narrated in the Holy Quran and Hadith. Number 6. The Moon Split Oh, the polytheists at the time of the Prophet وسلم, keep insisting that they wanted a miracle. They said they will believe if the Prophet وسلم, could show them the splitting of the moon in half. When Allah granted the Prophet the ability, he called them all to witness and the moon split into two. And indeed it was a clear manifestation but in their arrogance they still rejected the truth. This incident is also narrated in the Holy Quran. Number 7. The lifeless objects and animals communicated with the Prophet. On several occasions, trees, stones, mountains oh, and sand stones. would greet the Prophet when he passed. Once a Jew roasted a goat, filling it with a very strong poison. She then sent it to God's messenger. But before the Prophet touched the food, the goat spoke to him and informed him of the poison. So he told everyone to abstain from the food. Number 8. The dead affirmed the prophethood of Muhammad In one narration, one of the companions of the Prophet suddenly dropped down dead in the marketplace. The people took his body to his house. That evening, between sunset and the night prayer, while the women were weeping all around him, the corpse exclaimed, Silence! Silence! Then he said, Muhammad is God's messenger.
Peace be upon you, O messenger of God. He spoke so eloquently for a while that the people had to uncover him to check, but he was really dead. That Number would be nine, creepy. Food Ooh. galore. The messenger of Allah fed more than a hundred people with a very small food. Whenever he placed his blessed hands on any food, he caused it to increase and everyone could eat to their fill and still have leftover. In one narration, he fed more than a hundred men from one cup of milk. Each person would drink to his fill and pass to the next without refilling. And each of the men drank to their satisfaction. And the cup was still filled with milk, as though it was never touched. Number 10. The Prophet Could Heal the Sick In one narration, one of the companions was hit by an arrow in his eye. The Ouch. arrow was so deep it was sticking out at the back of his head. Ow. The messenger placed his hands over the eye and it healed. Number 11. The greatest miracle of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is the Quran. May Allah help us to follow the Sunnah of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Ameen. So some of these miracles of the Prophet Muhammad I learned of before. Others were pretty new and oftentimes when you hear a miracle and a prophet, it's usually associated, well, according to Islam anyways, usually associated with Jesus. And even in Christianity, of course, miracles are associated with uh, Jesus. What I've been learning is that all the prophets listed in Islam, with the exception of I think a few, were known for having some sort of ability to perform various different types of miracles. Regardless of what they were, there was some sort of manifestation of miracles that happened. And oftentimes, before I started learning about Islam, uh, I would hear this thing, this phrase going around saying, Muhammad performed no miracles. So it's very interesting to see that, well, actually, you know, diving into Islam and learning about it, there's multiple different miracles that are attributed to Muhammad in various different instances. Some of them were, you know, like physical manifestations and others like becoming invisible, things like that were more, not necessarily him performing it, but it was kind of just something that sort of happened, whether it's by the power of God or the an, an angel power or something, you know? So it was very, very interesting. I kind of knew that they were gonna end off with the, the Quran miracle because it is said that that is the greatest miracle by Prophet Muhammad, or, or I should say the greatest miracle that was performed through Prophet Muhammad, you know, and the Quran is just filled with so many different interesting things and it's just a mind-blowing book, very fascinating. So oftentimes, yeah, you wouldn't necessarily associate a holy book or scripture with being the greatest miracle. But the more I dive into Islam is the more I could see why Muslims look at the Quran as the greatest miracle that uh, was performed through Prophet Muhammad. So yeah, very interesting video guys. Let me know what you think about this. Sound out below in the comment section. Until next time, stay awesome and I'll see you soon. Later.